What's good everybody, welcome back to Boompa World. Today, I'm picking the cleats back up, unretiring from my glory days of baseball, to coach to a championship ring in the Backyard Baseball League. I remember playing Backyard Baseball on my parents' shitty old computer that they didn't get rid of when they got a new one. It was like white cubular one. That's when I became a Moneyball high IQ level GM in these games. But today I'm playing the GameCube copy I have, I'm pretty sure it's 2003, and regardless of how it's aged, I'm pretty much super nostalgic for this series. Uh, but now I'll just go on my journey through the season and comment on the game and everything as we go along. Uh, but let's get straight into the draft, and uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to help my little baby channel grow. I appreciate it. But you guys know the deal. The series unravels into a franchise, sold millions of copies. You probably played Backyard Basketball 2007 on your Game Boy Advance on the way to church like a good little boy. But look, we're on the 2003 version on the GameCube, Backyard Baseball. Look at this beautiful little intro that I just played. But even from the first game, this series was full of characters with unique personalities, so everyone who played could really have their own unique favorites and have their own like relationship with the game, which I always thought was really cool. But anyway, we start off the 18 game season with 6 inning games, sounds kind of long, I kind of wish it was 3 inning games, yeah, melon heads. And I once again gotta appreciate the color customization. Heading to the draft, you know I gotta pick my ride or die Pablo Sanchez first, you already know the GOAT. Pete Wheeler for his speed and terrible in game voice for my second pick. Keisha, she's a home run machine, she's a goddess, she's always good like she was in football. We get Barry Bonds before the steroids, Sammy Sosa before the steroids and the bleach, yikes. Oh yeah, we also get Ahmed Khan, who was actually my favorite when I was a kid. I always thought him using his bat as a guitar was cool, I don't care attitude. His little brother trying to be like him was cute too. I had to get Billie Jean Blackwood for country girl representation, I think she's from France or something. Ichiro for his like wisdom. And our final spot goes to who else but Kenny Kawaguchi, we gotta put respect on Kenny's name. After drafting my team, I messed with the lineup and defense a little bit and went to look at the player cards for some shenanigans, maybe some b-roll or some, something funny happened. And why was Kenny Kawaguchi glitching in everyone? Not a great start, uh, but let's get it. Let's get this ring, even if we're glitching. The presentation though, besides that glitch, absolutely shits on backyard football, like graphics wise, uh, just gameplay wise too, honestly. Nothing's cloudy, everything just feels more complete. But a loading screen between every half inning in a baseball game is tough. Uh, and in the first game, I mean, look, Barry Bonds goes yard. Nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy to see here. Let's go. We are playing at Pete Wheeler, our teammate's farm, Wheeler Acres. And I love like little tornadoes and UFOs abducting cows in the background. Um, this game took it a step further, but just like backyard football, it added stuff for kids to look at in the background and basically made the game just look more fun than it actually was. <laughs> Uh, this game with its announcers, scoreboard, and graphics is already in a different ballpark. It just feels like there's so much more care into this compared to football. But we literally have Murderer's Row. Like, my team, like, Barry Bond, Sammy Sosa, Keisha, what are you about to do to that? You can't stop. Uh, there's just no way these CPU trash cans will be able to keep up. Uh, but you have a lot of freedom, actually, with choosing the type of hit you want, which is surprising, because you don't really in real life, but... You can choose between if you want to hit a line drive or like a power hit or like a ground ball. And I stay I stay using the power hit. I'm not even going to lie. I'm trying to go yard. And as we continue to rally every inning, I got to appreciate the high fidelity walk up songs that each player had. I swear, that was one of my favorite parts of this game. I like took pride in memorizing them as a kid too, like a little freak. I was just always enjoy vibing to the music after hitting a home run. I could see me beating the computer's ass get stale pretty quickly. This game, like any of the backyard sports games, is way more fun with friends, uh, but it's still like nostalgic basic fun to come back to that does the job on the revisit. Since I picked all the cool players, most of the CPU teams have fake players they made and it's really funny to see like what weird ass names they came up with. I also always thought it was clever how they used like the juice box as a stamina meter. Pitching and fielding is really simple, uh, it feels more fun than an average baseball game from the time though, uh, and I can't put my finger on to why, maybe just cause it's more archaic, arcadey and like, less stiff animation. But I shit you not, as my luck will have it, while in the second inning of my first game, my, my power went out, but I had to restart the season. Uh, fun. That was, that, that was fun. But we ended up getting a win. Got to throw the slow-mo pitch, power up, hit a home run with the aluminum metal bat power up, shout out Kenny Kawaguchi. 
Uh, but yeah, you earn power-ups by striking people out, making a highlight play, or hitting like a grand slam, or like turning in two. Uh, my team's unstoppable, just like last time. Uh, mostly due to great coaching, not because I got all the best players or anything. <laughs> Uh, the thing that I feel is missing in uh, a baseball season mode would be an ability to trade. I feel like that would be really cool. But otherwise, you know what it is. It's just that arcadey gameplay, hit after hit, pitch after pitch. It's less boring than real life baseball for sure, but it doesn't quite hit like the creative highs or like addictive gameplay of Mario Superstar Baseball. We get our first home game at the Aqua Dome, which is fire. And I think I only unlocked it after winning a championship in another season mode. We're just the big melon head machine, unstoppable. We go ahead, we run through the first six games, just be ass consistently. Pretty much everyone besides Ichiro for some reason was, was hitting at first. But then I literally remembered if you bunt with Ichiro or Pete Wheeler, there's like a 90% chance that you'll get a hit safe every time. We won two games in a row, 14 to zero. Like, damn, I'm having a nostalgic look back, but I'm not trying to sit here all day beating the CPU by two touchdowns. The game is still satisfying. Very surface level, innocent enjoyment that I can't really get mad at. The menus are clean. I wish it was more like a clubhouse though, like the old PC version. I thought that was classic, but it's just a different style and gets the job done. Same with the graphics as a whole. I mean, for 2003 though, uh, this game in general is a lot less cloudy than other games from the time, at least that I remember. The music in this game also hits too, uh, gives the game an extra layer of charm, more so with the PC version, but I feel like the walk-ups and home run songs just feels like it's some sort of payoff, it's funny. The power-ups work a lot better in backyard baseball too, I find, than football. Super pitches, odd hits, like the crazy bunt, uh, really gives the game a random silly twist where in the other games it doesn't fit as well. All the fields here are, are actually pretty pretty, I, honestly, and they, they have a nostalgic atmosphere for me, so I'm probably biased, but I feel like, as I said in my other video, the newer games kind of feel devout of soul. Just feel like I'm in like a more generic city scape or something like that, where I feel like in this game I'm chilling like in an episode of The Weekenders or something. Hits me right in the- hits me right there, you know. The fields at least attempt to tell a little story here, like where do the kids go, are people watching, is there a place close by to chill at? I don't know, am, am I overthinking? Probably. But in the menu, I got a chance to check the standings, get to know a few of my teammates for better or for worse. Go something like this! My little brother Amir and I are in the very famous heavy rocking band, the Knights of Rock. It's a little bit of cringe. I remember thinking Ichiro was all cool and mysterious. Now he just kind of sounds like a shitty anime character. Where I will hit the ball next. I choose where that will be. It makes them nervous. Baseball is easy. Homework is difficult. It's like two steps away from being offensive, honestly. But anyways, I'm finding that with any backyard sports game from this time, they got a formula, they stuck to it. It's all in the same engine with similar feel too. I know we are a good few minutes into the video, but I gotta shout out the stupid messages and little game things that go on on the Jumbotron loading screen thing in between innings. Little birthday shout outs, Dancing Llama. It was something that they did that made the loading screens less aggravating and add a little bit to that childlike goofy feel. Even as a kid though, and to this day, that shit was kind of annoying. And also, Reese Worthington's batting stance makes me extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> Look at this fucker. I don't know. But this time playing, I never realized how absolutely juiced Billie Jean Blackwood was. Like, she is... She's just cracked. Honestly, the GOAT... The real GOAT is Sammy Sosa, because he is a, uh, not only a great pitcher, complete game after complete game, his arm never gets tired, and he also hits home runs and is our three-hitter. Like, there's no reason to pick someone like Randy Johnson or some shit. And speaking of Randy Johnson, when I played the Athletics, they had the Hall of Fame pitcher, 125 career batting average, playing shortstop. A uh, very interesting strategy, very shitty. Uh, but yeah, we basically plowed through the first dozen games, no real standout teams. They kind of all just fall by the wayside to my god squad. We the melon heads. We be ass in backyards, we be ass in deserts, we be ass in the swamp. We even beat ass in this dirty reddish construction backstreet area. <laughs> We've given everybody the work. I almost actually did lose to the Angels though. I only won by one. Clinched our league 14 games in and then we ended up going undefeated and never lost. And yeah, we're ready for the postseason. Let's 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 get a World Series ring. Backyard BBL League, Brazilian butt lift league. Ichiro had by far the highest average on my team at the end of the season. And Sammy Sosa had the most RBIs while also being our only pitcher. Barry Bonds had 15 home runs in 18 games, and Keisha had 10. She's goaded. Pablo and Kenny slightly disappointed me. My favorites uh, with pretty much the lowest averages on the team, but I still love them just the same. 
and we're still going to get this championship and this uh bread extra extra read all about it bitch we are facing the padres in the first round of the playoffs and we crush them tough for them tough 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 same with the diamondbacks in the second round it's just utter dominance i apologize for how good my team is after every game i give the other kids a pat on the back you definitely try it out there jesus get the hell out of my face but after no trials or a single tribulation, we make it to the Backyard World Series, which is trademarked actually on the newspaper. But also this stadium is way more hype than the other ones with that little gold hot dog guy. I remember making it to this for the first time as a kid and being like, damn, I made it to the big, the big leagues. <laughs> I also thought it was cool because it was the same stadium from the game's intro, or at least it looks like it. Look at that, look at that grass, look at these graphics, wow. Look at these ads too, I love them. If you hit the I, you get a 50% discount. <laughs> or the mystery of the missing sock. We locked in, we focused up, and we, we, we were careful. We sweep these dumbass Walker Texas Rangers and get up out of here. Did I mention that we were playing the Rangers in the World Series? Because I don't even think you guys cared or knew because you knew we were going to win. But we get to watch this expert pilot maneuver to congratulate our World Series win. We hop every couple seconds or so in triumph, and, and then I guess we went a vacation or something? Because we're all vibing at the beach, let's go to the beach. I mean, we got people surfing in the sand, and then Kenny's over here hitting jumps on the dirt bike ramp. <laughs> we did it. We did it, Joe. As Boompa, 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 Boompa. We got a really big team. We need some really big rings, folks. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. What did we learn today? We learned how this game is still a classic. We had a fun trip down memory lane. See you guys next week for more fun content, probably on a PS2, maybe on a GameCube, or maybe on the Switch. I don't know. I'll see you guys next time. I'm, f I'm fucking.